If you're like me, you use your gimbal a lot. I love my gimbal. It allows me to get great steady shots I could never get if I were just hand holding the camera. It also allows you to get great sort of dolly slider type shots and jib shots and steady cam type shots and you know rock solid steady shots as well all with the same mobility uh, as going handheld. I do a lot of corporate industrial type videos these days and for interviews I'll typically use my Ursa Mini on sticks but for b-roll I'll use my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K mounted on my Zion Crane 2S gimbal and you know clients love the results and I do too it's the way I shoot most of my work these days um, so this is my original Zion Crane 2 rig so you know I've got it worked out so that it works really well for me it's got a seven inch monitor it's got an external battery to power both the camera and the monitor uh, I, I wear a belt clip sometimes that allows me to take the weight off my arms in between takes but still <laughs> As I'm sure most of you know who shoot with a gimbal, you know, this sucker gets heavy after a few hours of shooting. So I was trying to find an alternative. <laughs> and after seeing the feature film, The Creator, uh, and reading about the, the custom built shoulder mounted gimbal rig that they created, created <laughs> to film it, um, I decided to try to build something similar using my Zion Crane 2 and some old shoulder mounting uh, gear that I had kicking around the office for years. Plus a few you know, parts that I had to buy through Amazon relatively cheaply. Um, so the result is this simple shoulder mounted gimbal rig that is fairly well balanced, you know, not too heavy. Um, and is really exactly what I needed. So in this video, I'll break down, uh, break it all down and show you how to build your own custom shoulder gimbal rig. <laughs> Stay tuned. So let me break down all the parts I've used here. You can customize this any way you want. Like I said, most of the parts I'm using here have been a, a part of my kit for years. So, you know, sort of any handles or shoulder pads or, you know, battery adapters that you've got on hand should work just fine as long as they mount to the uh, 15 millimeter rails. So uh, basically the kit, you start off with these 15 millimeter rails that happen to be 18 inches long. Uh, it's a good distance for me uh, in order to focus on the monitor. I, I needed a certain distance away, so these were perfect for me. Um, set of hand grips. Uh, these happen to be the Shape brand. They're great. They're nice rubber coated handles. You're comfortable. You can adjust it easily with the push of a button. Um, like these, but again, anything that you have on hand will probably work just fine. Shoulder pad. It's a pretty basic shoulder pad. I do like these. Uh, it's able to mount very easily to the rails. It has these adjustments. You can just push it up and tighten it down as you need it. It's nothing fancy. Uh, V-mount adapter. Basic V-mount adapter. It's got a D-tap for the camera and a 12 volt out for the monitor. So that works very nicely. You put a, a good heavy V-mount battery on there and it also works as a counterweight. Um, I also have an additional counterweight uh, that helps to offset the weight of the camera in the front because otherwise it's pretty front heavy without some sort of counterweight on the back. So this helps to make it um, pretty well balanced. Uh, what else? We've got the, the magic arm, simple magic arm. This one does have, you know, so dual adjustments so you can adjust the angle on it to, you know, whatever is comfortable for you. That works pretty well. Um, field monitor. I've got just this five and a half inch field world monitor. It's very lightweight. You know, it, it, I do power it off the D-tap, but you can also use NP style batteries. That works well. It comes with this hood uh, that allows you to, you know, make sure you don't get glare on the glass. So um, th those are the items I had on hand. So what I had to do was purchase a few things from Amazon to complete the rig. So starting with these two cheese plates, like a five and a half inch cheese plate has lots of mounting options. It works perfectly um, for my needs. And one of them did come with this nice handle. 
It's a leather bound handle, very comfortable, soft, works out very well. Uh, the other big thing are these 15 millimeter rail blocks. I needed three of these, two for the O-rings that I'll get to in a second and one to mount my tripod plate so I can easily just put the whole rig down on my tripod in between takes. Um, so uh, this was something I had a hard time finding. This is called Ficho, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. They're O-rings, they're designed for the Zion Crane 2, so it's the right diameter. Um, so these are what clamps the uh, gimbal down on the rig. It did have a quarter 20 screw on the bottom um, and I needed it to be a quarter inch so I did have to get some adapters, these little thread adapters that allow you to go from uh, 3 eighths to quarter 20. Um, let's see. Also, I did, I wrapped the handle of the gimbal in tennis racket grip tape <laughs> uh, and it works great. It makes it uh, a little easier to grip. Uh, that way it sort of doesn't move in the gimbal rig and it's just, it's nice and soft and works out well. That's basically it. Those are all the parts. Uh, and then there's assorted cabling, obviously, that you'll need to plug in. Um, and so I'm gonna just assemble the whole thing now and show you how it all goes together. Okay, well, let's start assembling this. I do have a small rig tool that I use to uh, assemble all these things. It's got, you know, all the right sizes I need, the Allen wrenches, a Phillips head, straight slot. So we'll start there. So we're gonna put the O-rings onto the cheese plate to start with. there. Put the rail blocks on. Okay, so those will get mounted on the plate. So I do have um, this adapter that allows me to mount to the tripod. So this has to fit in between those two. the top cheese plate to the top of the two O-rings. Okay, very good. I'll put the front handles on the front. Put the um, beam on adapter on. Put the counterweight on. Put a Vim out battery. Attach the handle, which is going to go in that direction. It's good. Okay. Put the magic arm up to mount the monitor.
Okay, and so that opens like that. So you would balance your gimbal the way you typically would, um, you know, if you were just going to hand hold it, through, you know, upright in a vertical position. So this basically hold it horizontally and the two O-rings fit right over the grip handle. It closes down. It's got these two side adjustment screws to keep that nice and tight. Um, let me get this out of the way. Okay, and turn that on. There it is balanced. So on the top, I, it, it's important the way the gimbal is mounted on the rig. Um, it should be where you can see the controls pointing up. Obviously you don't want them pointing down because you wouldn't have access to them. So the way it's mounted now, you still have access to the controls. You can still tilt up and down, you can pan. You've got your focus ring here. Uh, of course, I do have to just put the cabling in for the, the focus to work, but that will take two seconds. Okay, oh, and the shoulder pad. That just slides right in. Put that in. Get the batteries in. So detap. And this uh, 12 volt cable that will go from the battery plate into the back of the monitor. Uh, and this is HDMI cable going from the camera to the monitor. Uh, and this is the focus cable, which will go from the crane into the focus motor. If I can see the focus motor, there it is. Okay, focus is working and there it is. There is the whole rig. You know, you, like I said, you can control tilt up and down, panning. You've got your focus ring working over here. Um, relatively lightweight, relatively inexpensive. I think it's a good solution. Uh, I've been very happy with the results so far. So let me know in the comments if uh, this works for you or if I've missed anything. But I think that's it. Good luck.